All right, so this is gonna be a brief overview of how to get started with Miro. We're talking about how to navigate, creating a tag, editing that tag, and then a couple of other tips. So first, well, how to navigate. When you first come in, your cursor is gonna look like this. It's gonna look like a white gloved hand. Uh, the other mode is the select mode, which looks like a black cursor. But when you start off and when you have that white hand, uh, if you click and then you move the mouse, uh, you're going to just pan and, and move around. You can't actually do anything though. But if you do double click, it does change you to that uh, black arrow mode. You can also switch back and forth right here at the top of this little toolbar. Um, or you can hit V on your keyboard and that'll do it also. Zooming in and out is pretty easy also. If you go, you just roll your mouse wheel, you zoom in and out. Or if you do that pinching motion, if you're on a, a trackpad on a laptop, that'll get it done also. In order to create a tag, all you have to do is double click. And then whatever the last tag is, it will duplicate that. And so uh, another way you can do it, is regular copy and paste, control C, control V, and the tag will appear wherever you last clicked. So nice and easy. You can also hit control D for duplicate and that will create extra tags as well. So very simple to create a tag. Sometimes, however, what's gonna happen is it'll create a tag that you didn't mean for it to create or of a type. Um, and so it might be a tag that looks like this. You're like, hey, I want a sticky note. So in order to edit, change the type or do any other kind of editing, you do a single press, you'll see this blue bar around it. We come to the far left side of the toolbar here where it's got the types, our sticky notes are in the upper right hand corner. Boom, now we've got a sticky note again. And then coming back here for the other options, you can see you've got the text size. I like to leave it auto, so it makes it as big as will fit with regards to what you have. You can see these are slightly different sizes. Um, you can also change the font style, the alignment. Um, you can change the size here. You can make it a large or a small. Obviously, I can also just drag here, but that can be handy. Um, like, hey, I want this tag to be the same as the other ones, so they're all medium, so I'll make it look like that. You can also change the, the color if that's what you want to do um, to make it match or make it look different, however you want to do it. And then when you decide you're done with it, you just hit delete key and they go away. Uh, if you deleted something you didn't mean to or didn't mean to move, hit control Z, same as most other products, and boom, back they come. They'll change to however they were before. A couple of other random tips. If you're using Internet Explorer, don't. It get, will get kind of buggy potentially, so use a more modern browser. You can also come up here to the toolbar up here and you can choose to hide your collaborators' cursors. If there's a lot of people in the mural with you, it might get kind of confusing, so you can choose whether you want to do that or not. And if you're on a much larger mural like this, you might be like, oh, I saw something really smart that someone wrote, but I'm not sure where on the board it is. Well, you can actually search for text in here. So if I'm looking for something smart, I can zoom right in and, and find it if I know what word to search for. So that's a couple of tips to get you started with Miro and have it be a bit easier for you.